We're eager to talk with you about anything that is important to you. We want to show you where you are along this vibrational spectrum. We'll help you to understand why you've got a block. It's always the same one. It's always looking for something and counting it as missing when it's a vibrational version that you have to look with different eyes. And if today you develop the ability to look with different eyes, to look with sensors, if you can find the satisfaction factor in something, then you will be one who does live happily ever after. Because as sure as anything, as sure as you sift and sort and you know what you don't want and you know what you do want. And there it is gestating in your vortex of creation. And you've been meditating and you've been tuning in and you're feeling good and you're in love with this and that and this and that. And you are what others say a very positive person because you're looking for things that feel good and you're getting really good at doing that. And you're more optimistic and less pessimistic and you're feeling good. And as those thoughts begin turning to things, then boom, here's the manifestation of what you ask for. You ask and now it's there for you, for you to see, for you to experience for you to sleep with, for you to drive, for you to spend, for you to have all of those delicious tactile experiences with, you've got it, you've done it, you've created it good for you. And then you stand not only as the recipient of whatever it was, but with another set of contrasting experiences causing you to give birth to another rocket of desire. So that gap will always be there because you are an eternal being. You are eternal, which means life is going to continue to cause you to be vibrational and catch up with it and then be vibrational and catch up with it and be vibrational and then turn the vibration into the tangible and then be vibrational and turn the vibration into tangible to be vibrational and then turn the vibration into tangible. And every step along that way, you can have satisfaction. Because the only time that you do not feel satisfaction is when you are in resistance to what you're asking for. Esther has been having a wonderful time. She's been in Southern California for a few weeks now and she's been enjoying everything about it. And the other day she said to someone, someone who she's been playing with, no, there's some things I really want to do today. What? You'd rather work than play? Yeah. Yeah, today, because she began realizing that when she's been asking for things and then not letting herself go to them, she's creating a sort of unnecessary tension. That's what we mean that you mean when you say, I want to be true to myself. When I've launched a rocket of desire, when I intend to do something and I do other than it, there's an unnecessary contrast in the energy which feels like dissatisfaction not satisfaction and so we want to help you to understand because so often as humans you've been measuring the rights and wrongs of your life and others by what's out here in this manifested environment and we want you to leave that aside for a little while and trust that that manifested environment is what's caused you to create more into this vortex. But once you've done step one and you have, then you can leave that manifested environment aside for a little bit and reach for your satisfaction factor vibrationally. And as you do that, it's sort of like watching your children behaving on a subject in a way that you believe is not good for them. And it is causing you discomfort as you observe it. So you jump right into the middle of it and you lay down a new rule or you reiterate an old rule and they continue to ignore you as they've been doing for much of their life. <laughs> and your frustration factor just goes right through the roof because you know you're right and they can't hear you. And the reason they can't hear you is because you're not on the vibration of what you mean to say. You're fixated on what's gone wrong and that's the vibration that's coming out of you. And so these are the words that we want you to leave this room remembering. You just can't get there from there. You cannot improve a situation by jumping into the middle of it at this stage of its seeability, hearability, smellability. In other words, once it's out there and manifested and it's in that form through your effort and action and words attempt to change it, the momentum says otherwise and you're not going to buck that current. But if you could, for example, meditate for 15 or 20 minutes on a regular basis and let's say you've done that for a week it's about all it takes 
and you've found that centered place where you've actually quieted your mind so there's no contradiction to what you desire going on within you at least not right now and you're able to stay there in that detached and quieted place because your inner being knows everything that you intend everything that you want certainly everything that has to do with those others that you love so in that quieted place since your inner being knows everything that you really want then you begin to feel the momentum toward what you want the true solution begin to come forth within you the true solution begin to come forth now it's not really obvious at first you just feel good and then impulses come and maybe you even have something go across your mind a sort of vision or sort of dream a sort of sensing of the perfection of this kid of yours the feeling of love just radiates through you in a way that you haven't allowed in quite a while because you've been looking at what is instead of about what really is and now you found that centered place and now the momentum is flowing and now thoughts are turning to things and you're being guided from your tuned in tapped in turned on position and now law of attraction brings you to the perfect moment because you are in a state of reception you are totally in the receiving mode and when you are totally in the receiving mode law of attraction will not rendezvous you with your kid who's not in the receiving mode you can walk in and bang on his door and demand that you have a conference with him but it's not likely that either one of you will be in the receiving mode under those conditions but here you are you started over and you got yourself there and you followed your impulses and you rendezvous and now the words and the conversation understanding is happening you see the difference and everything is that way you've got to start over get in the receiving mode and rebuild your path it doesn't take a long time we're talking about 15 minutes a day for a little while you will be amazed and delighted at how things line up for you when you take the time to become yourself a cooperative component to your own desires if you never heard anything else from us or anyone else ever 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 that's all you would ever need to live happily ever after and the success that you want we want it for you we want you to have all the toys and relationships and experiences and empires that you want to build in other words there's nothing off limits we are not trying to get you to go into meditation and deprive yourself of the physical stuff this is the way you allow the things the physical things of your dreams to flow into your experience you have to get into the receptive mode you have to receive them you have to be the realizer of them and with just a little bit this week coming up is going to be one of the most thrilling weeks of your life because you are going to have conscious awareness of a tweaking of your behavior and a tweaking of your understanding which is going to allow so many of the things that you've been holding yourself apart from to flow easily into your experience so now what some good things here a lot of trouble in this room <laughs> all right take it easy if we don't call on you right away or ever <laughs> it is our promise to you that we've got you and we will answer you so looking for the logical stream of unfolding here so it's never gonna be perfect right because if I will get it perfect we'll go along with that in fact we'll say it's never gonna be perfect but it's always gonna be satisfying I see Okay. and it can't be perfect because that implies finished and because you're eternal it can't be done so it's always ongoing which means so something happens you say I'm so glad you're here because you assure my longevity in this body <laughs> I'm so happy that you're making my life so miserable because if it were not for you I wouldn't be launching more rockets and I'd have nowhere to grow I understand so but work it's okay you can drop it you can move on you can ask for another one and it will come for sure however your patterns with your work people and your patterns with your personal people are pretty much the same patterns I see and we're just asking you to not be so human no that isn't what we're, we're just asking you to not be so responsive to the conditions here's a really good description so let's say you're in that manifested place in some situation and for whatever reason it's not pleasing you in some way and you manage to get back into meditation and get another run at it and it feels better 
and then it goes wonky again because it's full of contrast and so you get back into meditation and you get the momentum going and it gets better but it still goes wonky and then you kind of lose faith in the value of that so you just do a little less of that and a little more of paying attention and then it just wobbly and kind of wonky and wobbly and kind of wonky and you just kind of develop into this pattern and then you think uh, I need to do something different and we say you can't get there from there take that phrase home can't get there from there you can't get to where you want to be from a manifestation that isn't pleasing you you gotta quiet your mind and get yourself away from it and start in a whole new neutral place not neutral a whole new empowered place where everything you want and your inner being is and then get another run at it and 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 then one day today or tomorrow you find yourself in a manifestation that isn't perfect but your satisfaction factor didn't go away because you have understanding of how it works you're not blaming yourself you're not blaming them you understand you're collecting data you understand it's just part of the process of making decisions about what you want you don't freak out over little things you stand solid and you're knowing that all is well you just get better and better at riding out the ripples more and more happy as you go do I have to go all the way and start my progress over or I can concentrate because I listened to you and you said concentrate on positives that's what I was doing you don't have to but here's the thing even Esther Esther thought she was doing what we were teaching she just did another focus wheel so she just soothed it for a minute her point of attraction was such that she had some things going on that she'd attracted from previous vibrations that she couldn't clean up with a focus wheel because there was so much momentum already there that the factors involved just kept knocking her off her alignment and so here's the best way of describing it if this relationship is this damn much work start over start over if it's so much work that you're just spinning yourself into oblivion if there's so much to react to then sometimes it's better and we don't mean leave the relationship we don't mean leave the job we mean approach it from a more centered place and when you do that what happens is the path of least resistance becomes so much more evident to you you know almost everyone makes almost every decision from a place of being more dominant about what they don't want than about what they do want I agree so you just keep trying to solve problems and you try to make your words more productive than they can be or your actions more productive than they can be and sometimes it's like this what if you really wanted employment let's go back to that topic and the dollars were urgently needed right now and so that was a dominant factor within you so it would be logical that the path of least resistance for you would be to take something that could bring the dollars the fastest well just because that's not really where you want to be long term doesn't mean that that path of least resistance wasn't exactly right for you at the time but now you're in this situation where the dollars are flowing and that is relieved but now other things that are important to you are showing themselves to you so you get to add another intention to the mix which means this current manifestation is not the best answer to the newly understood desire that you've put back over here into the vortex so often Esther would say on occasion I don't want to hurt their feelings and Jerry would say you rather hurt your own feelings or you say I don't want to be seen as irresponsible or I don't want to rock the boat in other words you make up all kinds of things when a manifestation isn't quite right because frankly the path of least resistance is not to just walk away right now that would make it much worse for you much more upheaval sometimes in some of your quick not well thought out fixes than if you just sort of let the status quo be where it is while you find a new centered place 